Welcome to 3D Printing Industry News, brought to you by 3D Systems. Welcome everyone, we're here at the uh, Santa Clara Inside 3D Printing Show and we have Andy Lauter from uh, Adobe, so uh, welcome in the show. Thank you, thanks for so, having me. Uh, <coughs> so Adobe's focus on 3D printing has really uh, ramped up over the past 12 months, so can you tell us the, uh, uh, when the tipping point came and, and, and why? Yeah, sure. Um, as uh, your listeners and watchers probably know, the uh, 3D printing industry has been around for a long time, since the mid-80s. Um, but what's been happening recently that we've been tracking is the emergence of color technology in, in devices and in materials. And um, with color, we think, is going to come a, a tipping point or an inflection point in the industry, particularly around consumer, more consumer-oriented content. And things like full color, gradient color, aesthetic is going to become much, much more important. And these are areas where Adobe, you know, through our unique software technology, can add a lot of value, we think. Okay, that sounds very good. And 3D content is obviously a key component of the 3D printing ecosystem. So what is Adobe's USP in um, unlocking this component for mainstream users? Yeah, it's interesting that you asked that question because um, a lot of people think about 3D printing and they talk about the devices, which, by the way, are amazing and really fun and exciting. I mean, it's just nothing like seeing something created from scratch on a print bed. But in the end, you know, what's going to drive growth of this industry over the long haul is the content. Um, you know, 3D printing for us is a digital content or digital media business. And Adobe is a digital media company. We make tools to enable digital media. And so that's really um, what uh, is, is attracting us to the industry. And, and um, our particular customer segment is creatives and creative professionals and you know our, our real goal our mission in engaging with the 3d printing industry is to get mainstream creatives more engaged in producing really high quality full color content leveraging our tool set um, and that's why we put 3d printing capabilities into Photoshop which is the most you know pervasive mainstream creative professional authoring tool so sure and that is actually my next question is how do Adobe's uh, uh, software tools really translate to 3d printing uh, users or the user base there yeah it's, it's funny because we get asked <laughs> that a lot obviously and um, Photoshop is mostly thought of as a 2d digital imaging tool of which of course it is and, and and photographers have been using it in that way for years but actually 3d capabilities have been in Photoshop since the CS3 version which was around two th late 2006 early 2007 and um, initially, the reason Adobe put 3D capabilities into Photoshop um, was that just another media type that Photoshop users could embed into their you know, Photoshop creations. And a good example of that is we have big car companies like Audi and Porsche who actually don't do photo shoots anymore. Instead, they have a photographer take a picture of a scene, but then they'll, um, they'll bring a, a, a 3D model of the car into that scene. They'll paint it. They'll add lighting, they'll put a model, a model in the driver's seat, you know, and then they'll place it on the scene, they'll make the wheels blur, and as it's composited together, you would not know that that's not a real car on the actual road. And so, um, you know, uh, for that reason, um, primarily Photoshop put, I'm sorry, Adobe put 3D into Photoshop. But now that we have this 3D engine in Photoshop and with all the new 3D printing technologies that are emerging, it was just a very natural extension for us to allow people to take those same 3D models and print them out of Photoshop and really fill that gap between, you know, the modeling tools that create 3D models and the printers um, that, you know, needs a special type of model to be able to print it successfully. Okay, very good. And, and who's the main user base for the 3D printing uh, software, basically? So. Um yeah, so it's primarily creative professionals. That's really, you know, our core market. And um, and again, like I said, if, if you think about 3D printing business in the future as being more of a consumer content oriented business, somebody has to be making that consumer content. And those creative professionals, those creative designers that are our customers today, those are the people that are going to produce the most compelling full color content. And so that's really the uh, user base that we're trying to engage in this new 3D printing opportunity. Okay. And what is the best um, sort of uh, Adobe 3D printable design that you have seen to date? So uh, what has been exciting you most? Well, we, um, we recently, in the, in the 3D print show in London last month, showcased some uh, unreleased technology that we developed together with Stratasys to do gradient color prints on the Stratasys Object 500 Conix 3, which you may know is a three color printer, but it's limited primarily to one color per shell right now. We developed some special software that works with Photoshop that allows us to do gradient color printing on that thing. Uh, on that printer and we worked with a number of uh, leading 3D artists um, including Tobias Klein and Francis Batanti and one of our Photoshop users Francois Verard to do really amazing gradient color uh, prints um, <coughs> on the Conix 3. 
One of the prints that we showed there was actually a, uh, a turtle that one of our artists, Paul Liao, built, which is a full color, you know, life-size turtle. Um, and uh, it attracted a lot of attention at that show. I think that's one of my favorites. Excellent. Sounds very exciting. So yeah. I wish you all the best. And I don't know be for uh, the forthcoming new releases of the 3D printing software. So thank you very much for yeah. coming in the show. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. Bye -bye. Thank you. Bye-bye. <laughs> Thanks for watching 3D Printing Industry News TV. Brought to you by 3D Systems.